Hello everybody, let's have some fun. So today we're working with the Functional Devices Incorporated Relay in a Box. So these are pre-wired relays. This is model number RIB2401B. And so what this has available option-wise is it has either a 120 volt trigger or a 24 volt trigger. And for pass through it gives you the option of 120 volt AC pass through but there's also looks like two supplies if you were working coils from the 24 volt connection I'm not 100% sure on that um, but in any case for for my purposes I'm doing 120 volts AC which means this blue wire will get capped. I won't need it. Same for the trigger relay, the white and blue also will get capped, won't need it. Uh, but this is good for 20 amps. So what we're doing today has to do with my electric fireplace. Uh, my kids, even though I tell them not to, like to crank the thing as, as high as it will go on the thermostat, uh, which it can't be run for very long before it starts to overheat and goes into lockout. Once it does that, the only way to get it to start working again, you have to disconnect the fireplace from a power source. So for me, that would be either unplugging it, which is for my installation, not an easy thing to do. It's uh, the plug is behind the fireplace in an enclosed cabinet area with obstructions. I'd have to start pulling crap out. Don't want to do that. Um, what we've been doing is just throwing the breaker and then turning the breaker back on. But I have a basement. It's down in the basement. And I'm lazy. I don't want to go do it. So I'm building a smart switch for it. I do have a Lutron cassette smart switch system. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to make the plug for this fireplace smart so that I can sit on my keister and control the power supply for the fireplace and make sure it stays working. So how that's gonna be done is in utilizing this relay, we're gonna also wire in this Lutron Cassetta Smart Switch to this single use 20 amp, 120 volt outlet. So let me get this wired up and we'll show you the connections. All right, so first couple of wiring connections to make. And also, just so you know, I'm using a 20 amp rated um, short extension cord that I found. I sacrificed it, so I cut off the end of it because I'm using the wiring connections for our project, but the other end will connect to the wall outlet that's already in place. So we're considering this our power supply. So power supply black is going to be connected to the thick yellow wire from our relay, as well as the black wire from the smart switch. The thick orange wire from the relay is gonna go to your outlet and it's gonna go to the brass screw, which stands for your load. Um, the other side, is your silver screw which is your common or neutral typically the wire color for that is white i'm just using extra wire that came off the relay um, so in my case it's yellow this is what's going to get connected to neutrals and also for the ground typically it's either bare or green but again i had extra wire it's the right gauge so i'm just using the blue wire from the relay that we're not using as my ground wire so I have the rest of the wiring connections made, the switch and the outlet mounted inside their box. So again, the black wire from this is gonna go to the thick yellow wire from the relay and the black wire from the switch. The thick orange wire from the relay is gonna go to the brass screw on your outlet. The white and black trigger wire from the relay goes to the black, sorry, the red on the switch. And then the white and yellow 
the neutral from here, the neutral from your switch, and the neutral from this all get connected together. And then of course, your ground wire from here, here and here gets connected together. There is no ground wire coming from the relay. Okay, we're gonna use the lamp in lieu of the fireplace because again, getting to the fireplace plug when I go to install this cramped area, not really gonna be able to film in there. So here it is. So again, pretend this is the fireplace. So the fireplace is plugged into here, which is controlled by this switch, which is controlled by this relay. And this would be the wall outlet that the fireplace is originally plugged into. Um, so again, you can see the LEDs on indicating everything's on. If I turn the switch off, that LED goes off. So that's saying this is no longer receiving signal from the switch. So it is disconnecting the pass through of power from here to the fireplace. So here's why we did this. The fireplace, again, is a 20 amp circuit due to the heat coils drawing a high amperage. These smart switches are only good for around five to six amps. Now Lutron does sell, you can kind of see it plugged in down there. They do sell an actual smart plug that you can use for lamps, but it says right on there, only use for lamps because the same thing as the switch, it's only good for a few amps. It's not intended for a high amp draw source such as an electric heater. That's why I went this route. So to demonstrate how I'm going to use this, again, with my smart system with the Lutron Cassetta, I can control this with my Apple HomePod. So I'll demonstrate that now. Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace. So, if my kids ever overheat it and it goes into lockout, I can simply use Siri to turn the power source on and off to reset it, all from the comfort of my couch. And that is the benefit, many of the benefits you can get from a trigger relay like this. Hope this video helps. Okay, we're in the belly of the beast. So this is the cabinet area behind. So this is the fireplace. Um, here's all the AV and electronics, all that good crap. So this outlet here, uh, here is my dedicated 20 amp feed for the fireplace. It has its own breaker. Um, and here is the smart outlet with the relay that we installed for the fireplace. So I've got it mounted here. The fireplace is now plugged into it with this being plugged into the fireplace outlet. Okay, I know we did the demonstration where we pretended the lamp was the fireplace, but now that it's installed, I'll show you how it actually works with the fireplace. So we'll pretend my kids have turned this thing up too high and it has overheated the dreaded E3 error code on the display, uh, which means the heat will not work. And again, it's not as simple as just using the remote to turn it off and on. It will make you physically unplug it to disconnect it from the power source before it will reset so again it's on you can see the color that it currently is so this is important so when i use siri to turn it off it's not the same as using the remote we're actually completely disconnecting a power source to it hey siri turn off the fireplace okay so Again, this is different than just using the remote. There's, it, it'd be the same thing as turning the breaker off. There's zero power at the outlet. Hey Siri, turn on the fireplace. Okay, the heat is on. So power has been restored, but again, it's not the same as using the remote. So to actually turn it on, we gotta use the remote. Now, as you can see, it's back to a default color. So that, is letting us know it actually had no power. It did not retain the previous color setting we had it on, which means our heat source will now function again. I, If needed to, I would turn that on, turn the thermostat back down to keep it from overheating, yell at my kids, all that good stuff. Um, and to end this, 
part of the video, we'll have a little fun. Hey Siri, turn the fireplace off. Okay, the heat is off. So which of you watching have seen Beverly Hills Cop? I named it like this on purpose. Hey Siri, turn the fireplace on. Okay, the heat is on. So admittedly, this is not my first experience utilizing this particular relay in a box. You'll see there's another one right here in conjunction with this smart switch. But where we're at now is in my garage. This is my sub panel. So when I built my AV system, I of course was gonna utilize multiple subwoofers. To be precise, I have three outlets for the subwoofers alone and they are on their own breaker. So the subwoofers have their own dedicated power. And again, it's a 20 amp breaker. Um, because the power draw of the subs I'm using, again, the smart switch alone does not have the rating to support it. The reason I did this, I have kids. I have a wife who goes to bed early for work. 99% of the times my subs are off because that is what will travel through the walls and the floors and wake people up and keep people awake um, since I tend to be the only one up till around midnight watching TV. Um, so no, again, 99% of the time, these subs are turned off. But again, just like with the fireplace, I can use Siri just to turn them on uh, whenever we're having a family movie night and we want a little bit of boom. Um, so this is a nice feature. Now, why I did it at the breaker box? Again, as I stated earlier, three different plugs for the subwoofers. So rather than build three of these boxes, like I did for the fireplace, I just simply utilized the breaker itself to tap into the power delivery system for the subs. So this one switch and relay will control all three outlets for the subs. So there you go.